everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race and part 1.5 of the Turbo Kit build. I missed some footage, it didn't get put in the edit, I didn't check it before it went out, and I, I thought I was good, but we obviously were not. And I'm missing a whole bunch of information for you guys on how I made the Flowtech headers work on Salty. So here's the rest of part 1 of the Turbo Kit build. Back over here on my own tonight, and working on it, that's kind of where we got. So as you guys can see, pretty much decided that going up and over the steering is probably going to be the best, as going under and through that spot there really makes a mess of it not totally thrilled with the way it's coming out but i'm gonna pull it all apart kind of get everything real tight really make sure that the first two pieces are going good because i have one coming up and then that one's over but what i need to really do is tuck that as tight to the column as i can and shoot it back then i'm gonna have to cut that back piece rotate it up and make that fit not ideal situation but really just trying to take my time and make sure it's kind of going to work one good thing about going up and over, it might have kind of that bigger tube up and over, but it will allow us to remove the header without taking the column out, which is kind of nice. Uh, just kind of a give and a take on this whole thing. So I'm gonna actually get that pulled out, kind of start fitting up some pipes, and we'll take a look at it. Also I have this piece kind of sitting here. I went ahead and cut one of the U-bins that I have, so it's, a, it's pretty much a straight 90. To give you an idea, this is kind of what we're looking at. Something about like that. That would be a pretty aggressive turn and head back towards there. So that's why I'm gonna to try to cut and lower all of that stuff to get it even tighter in there. But uh, and then eventually probably cut this a little bit different back up here. And then it should just kind of flow right up over the steering column, come back to here, but that's what I mean. Cut that, rotate it up, and probably come into the cylinder more like that than where it used to go out and down. So when building headers or working on headers, blue tape is your friend. Let's show you guys kind of this is how it'll Kind of line up something about probably in that area there. But then you can kind of see the projected height's a little high. I should be able to tuck it down a little bit more under there. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and take and take about an inch off of this, reattach this piece, and then I will be good to start trying to work back to this here. Um, I want to get really close before I cut this just to make sure I don't have to deviate and go a different direction, but I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to end up having to do. So then you get it out of the car and instead of trying to turn up and go over, you're like, okay, if I lean this back a little bit and then that gets cut just right, that might bring us right into this area here. So that's perfect. So why don't we just make it try to flow and look right as long as when I put this back in the car, it wants to clear that, you know, that column right here. I was looking at it too and I could get a smaller knuckle, so if it's like real, real close, I could always order one, try to get it here. That's what slows down all this stuff, but it might make all the difference in just that like half inch that you need to not make it just look kind of ridiculous. Let's put this in the car and see where it's at. So I might completely change it up again, guys. I have this uh, piece that I cut for up top. You guys can kind of see that. It starts to turn away from the steering column. And then really, if I can come down kind of originally, I was thinking, is come down off of that to here and just make that transition. I mean that, all I gotta do is make that turn. It goes right around the column. I'm not fighting with it up top and it stays clean into the bottom. So I don't know, kind of thinking that might be the jam instead of messing with trying to be super tight to the knuckle and all that crap up there. It's just staying with it, and then I don't have to modify the back here. I just gotta, I mean, it'll be easy to land back in it. I just gotta get around here, which is my original thought. But now that I have some pieces cut, this is a 45 with a little straight added on. I think I can take the other part of this 90 and cut it out of there. And I'll get a little bit tighter. Whoops. I'll be a little tighter out of it. And then that might get me right where I need to be out of this thing. So I pulled it back out, did a little massage in here to get everything fit up nice and tight. But uh, I had my marks that I put on this tube inside. If I line those up somewhat close there, you guys can see where that's going to shoot kind of right at that pipe. So actually I'm looking really, really, really good. So if I can hold that there. But uh, yeah, so super, super close with this. Uh, I think that's gonna be the way to go. I just need to bridge this little gap here. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel with this, so I'm um, just gonna keep working this. Might tack this a little bit here, and then work my way up. I am waiting for some solar flux that'll be here, I think in two days, so then I can coat the inside of the pipe. If you guys remember on the headers on Bernie, that's what we used 
to coat the inside so you don't have to back purge this stuff and it works really really good i'm just gonna get to work on just kind of maybe tacking that i might leave that tape and then try to build me a little piece here and massage that to where it fits right and then i think we're actually going to have a header for the driver's side well 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 look what we have here so after getting this piece is kind of tacked which i need to take this back apart to put that solar flux in there i was able to kind of line this up and i just had to keep cleaning this back 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 until i was able to slide a little filler piece in there i probably originally could have left this a little long but um it ended up working out no big deal just one more little weld and yeah so we're looking we're looking pretty good i think that's going to work super super well <laughs> all right so i got it back in here and everything is clear and i mean can't really beat that right there clears all the way around goes down through there real nice up through the top here is looking way better than having this big pipe come across the top uh this little set screw does rub just a little bit so i either have to kind of clearance that just a little bit or i'll need to try to get the set screw further down in there which i can definitely do and lose some distance there to uh clear things up between the column and the header go and raise this thing up and take a look at it from the bottom oh man i think that turned out pretty freaking slick right there so i'll just have to spread the pipe again kind of slide it out but the next time that thing goes in and it's all welded up, I will have to remove the column to install it. Or since this is still loose, I should just be able to pop it here and install it that way, which is probably what I'll actually end up doing. But I'm gonna call that the end of part one of this turbo build. If you guys wanna see more, make sure you come back, hit that subscribe button, like this video for me so it can get pushed out to some new people. We'll see you guys in the next video.